Hello, good morning, sixth grader. How are you today? Remember what are the magic words that you always find and you are always very well and very great. That's nice, okay? Positive attitude. Okay, let's start. Today, let's talk about safety rules. Just to remember that you need to wash your hands. You need to wear a face mask. Remember, you need to keep your distance. What is the distance that you need to keep? Remember, the distance is two meters. You also need to sanitize your hands. What do you need to sanitize your hands? You need alcohol. And that's all you have to do. Okay, let's continue then our class with what is the objective today? Today we are going to introduce online class commands and academic activities. Okay, guys, let's start by make a general review about what are the new tools that we use actually to study, okay? Let's start, this is a computer, smartphone, this is a laptop, and we also use tablets, okay? Computer, smartphone, laptop, and tablet. Those are the new tools that we use today. This is a virtual classroom. In the virtual classroom, you have the students and you have the teacher. And this is another picture of the virtual classroom where the teacher is giving classes to the students. The teacher has the control of the class. In order to have a successful class, online class, it's very important that you follow the next commands. For example, you see signing on time. You need to find a quiet place. Keep your camera on. You need to listen to the speaker. Keep your microphone muted. And you need to look at the screen. Okay, let's discover what does it mean. Signing on time. Look at the picture. What do you think is happening? You have to be prepared for your class. So you need to be ready for class. You need to wake up on time before accessing to your online class. Remember, you have to be prepared with your uniform. Find a quiet place. Find a quiet place means that you need a classroom or you need a space in your house in silence, just you, and the computer and avoid noise. Keep your camera on. It's very important that you have contact with your teacher. That's why you need to keep your camera on. Listen to the speaker. You need to listen to the teacher's instructions and you need to respect others. When others speak, you need to keep quiet. Listen to the teacher to understand the instructions and have a good class, okay? Look at the screen. It's very important that you are focused on your class. You cannot look at the ceiling or look at the wall, so you need to be focused and concentrated in your class. Okay, you keep your microphone muted in order to avoid the interruption about from the different noises from the surrounding for example, the noise from cars, the noise from animals, or noise coming from other people, just for you to be concentrated. Remember, what are the commands that you need to follow? Signing on time, find a quiet place, keep your camera on, listen to the speaker, look at the screen, keep your microphone muted. And that's what you have to do. Here we have a practice for you. Circle the correct word to complete the commands. I have my pencil here, my pen. What are you going to do is to choose the correct word to complete the phrase. Okay, so it says, listen to the microphone, to the teacher or the screen. What do you think is correct? Listen to the teacher, very good. 
Excellent. Keep the microphone on, in, or muted. Muted. Very good. Very important command. Look at the screen, the wall, or the ceiling. Very good. Look at the screen. You need to be focused on your online class. You cannot look at the wall or the ceiling. Find a quiet person, place, or school. You need to find a quiet place. Place. You need to be in silence. Remember, avoid noisy places. Sign in of the times at a time, or you have to do it on time. Very good, you have to sign in on time. Excellent. Keep your camera on, off, or muted. Keep your camera on, very good. Oh, you did it very well. Oh, very good, you did it, excellent. So these are the commands, remember you need to follow to have a good, successful online class, okay? So also you need to complete some academic activities. Um, for example, you need to read. Sometimes you need to repeat. You need to write, look, listen, and sometimes you have to say, okay? The teacher can ask you, for example, to read a book or read the story. You can repeat after the teacher, write a sentence or a paragraph, look, look at the pictures, listen, listen to the sounds or the pronunciation, and say, for example, your speech. Like in the pictures, if you say hi, you can say your speech. So those activities are during the class. Remember, read, repeat, write, look, listen, and say. Mm -hmm. So let's continue here. When you do an exercise, you also have some activities that you need to complete. For example, sometimes you will say match you need to match, for example, the picture to the word. You need to answer, for example, a question. You can circle the correct answer. Or you can repeat after the teacher. So you can see those activities in your exercises, for example, in your practices, in your assignments. Those activities are the ones that you need to complete for a successful learning. Okay, so we have read, repeat, write, look, listen, say. And we also have match, answer, circle, and repeat. Here we have a practice. Let's read the name of the activity. Do you see different pictures? they are doing different things, different actions, and those actions represent activities that we usually do in our online classroom. For example, you say, read, write, paint, draw, tear, paste, cut, mold, okay? So these are our list, so let's practice. Oh, here we have a match. What are we going to do? Let's find the name of the action that represents the activity, okay? So for example, we have draw. Where is the picture that says draw? Oh, here. So you write number one, just right here, number one. The second says, Paint, paint. Oh, the second, just right here we see. You write number two. You have, for example, read, read. Do you see the one that is reading? Yes, there is 
read. Okay? And then you say, for example, right. Right. Do you see? This is right. Very good. I invite you to continue at home. Remember the exercise so you can capture the image and continue at home. Now is when I say thank you, thank you, Mrs. Daira Creighton, Academic Coordinator and National Directorate for Foreign Language Teaching. And also we say thank you, thank you so much to all the sponsors who make it possible. And thanks a lot to you and thanks to everybody. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.